my predictions. Good morning, everybody, for 2013. First of all, the Federal Reserve will turn 100 years old this year, 2013. Um, we renewed the charter in June 2012 for another 100 years. But the big party, I guess, will happen this year, although we won't be invited, I'm sure. American in distress. This year, we're going to have great advancements in energy weapons technology. And the usual suspects will lead the way. All a group of investors, pretty much the same names, you can over and over again, it doesn't matter, I'm not going to go into it. But we'll have uh, huge advancements in particle beam and energy beam weapons, and they've already created one here, Adam, another, dire another directed energy weapon <laughs> called Adam. And uh, it's going to be able to track airplanes and incoming aircraft. They're going to mount these things on the, on the, on the uh, bottom of the aircraft so they can shoot down uh, missiles and other aircraft and rocket ships and stuff like they're, while they're in the sky. Very interesting. This is what's my prediction. And this is going to, the production of energy weapons is going to lead to a source of energy. And this source of energy is going to be all electric beams. I'm not certain how it's going to come about, but it's not going to be for the United States. I'm certain of that. The energy beam that will be able, that has derived from these weapons uh, research is going to be used, I think, in China. And the reason for that is, these Chinese, they've been building these huge empty cities for years, okay? And you wonder why. There's tons of homeless people there. People don't have anything. They build these huge empty cities with, like it says here, museums and office buildings and huge offices. I think they're getting ready to power these things up with this new energy source. Our cities aren't directly wired and ready for these things. But these new cities that the Chinese have built from the ground up, and they're still vacant, they're empty, empty cities. You can look this up all over the China. Huge cities, ghost towns, they're calling them. And I think that this is what this energy source is going to be used for initially to see how it works. And then it'll be able to uh, be used in other applications in other areas. And I think they're going to probably start with Africa, developing Africa. This is not going to be good for the United States, all this stuff, because we're going to be left out of it. That's what I think. Okay. I think there's two. What else is going to happen? Top secret satellite launches into space. Why the hell? I mean, there's, look, they're all over the place. They're, they're all the time. They're doing this all the time. Top secret launches. And we're paying for this. How come we can't know what's going on out there? It's because there's, there's more of these energy beam weapons being launched into outer space. More of this research. They have to know how these things react. Plus, there's something else going on out there. Uh, a lot of these craft that we had launched into outer space back in the 50s and 60s they contained highly contagious pathogens and what they were being developed for weapons to see how these pathogens for biological weapons would react in outer space because you launch these cruise missiles in outer space and they hit come over the target and they drop back out of outer, outer space and onto the target they wanted to see how these pathogens who are still alive would react to the radioactivity in outer space the cold the heat all this Different, uh, different scenarios that can play out in outer space while the uh, ship is getting ready to come back into the atmosphere. And we launched this shit out in outer space and it thrives in radiation and it thrives in, this, in these conditions. And when it comes back to Earth, it pretty much starts a whole new uh, epidemic of strange and fucked up diseases. And that's what's going on right now. I think they want to try to take some of these out before they hit Earth, but I'm not certain. But I know it has a lot to do with this uh, energy research to energy weapon research in space and uh, weather weapons research. So this is going to be developed. You're going to see a lot more top secret launches. People aren't going to tell us what the hell's going on. As usual, more wars and stuff like that. That's usual stuff that's going to keep happening. But you have to ask yourself why. Now, one last thing I'm going to go into. The Leviathan. I just can't stay off this subject. Now, we, it's hard to get real good real-time information on this but I want to read one, read one paragraph. Now this is the, the Turkish involvement in the, in the Leviathan oil fields 
and gas fields. And um, the turkey is not too happy. They want to have the Mediterranean open. The Israelis want to have uh, defined borders for their maritime boundaries. And uh, there's a big dispute going on there. And I want to read this one. This one uh, paragraphed here. I've got to find it here first. Just hang with me. But you should look all this up for yourself and see what is going on with these. Uh, different uh, these different uh, things playing out across the globe. I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at this. I, my, my eyes are really bad. I, um, I can't find it. Of course I can't find it. But anyway, what they're saying is is that Turkey's moving uh, mili was moving military or Navy assets into the region and they were doing um, exercises while the geological exploration boats from Israel and the United States were out there and of course I want to this is being uh, developed by noble energy and gas it seems that nobody has the money to develop these oil fields in in the Middle East but the Americans and um, so I think that we're going to have a uh, conflict over this Leviathan oil and gas fields off the coast of Cyprus and we see what's happening now. I mean, everybody wanted a piece of the pie in, in Lebanon and Syria, where they're out, the, they're out of the equation. We have left is Turkey, Cyprus, and Israel now. And anybody that says that we sh they, they should not have total uh, claim to the Mediterranean at that distance, I believe it's 132, 138 kilometers from, the, from their shores. Uh, that is my prediction for 2013. We're going to have an energy source that's going to show up and they're going to use it in these new Chinese cities that aren't developed yet or aren't built. They've been wired for this already. It's coming and it's really going to be a big hit on the United States. We're going to have big development in energy weapons. We're going to have a lot more top secret space launches and general mayhem and chaos and destruction. Good things are going to happen too though. Definitely. I'll talk about them later. All right, I'll leave you with this song.